Coronavirus and other fears managed to sink the S&P 500 as low as 27% from its all-time highs on March 12th. The SPY ETF became the first security to trade over $100 million in volume in one day on February 28th. But the irony is, if you looked at ETF flows, you wouldn't be able to tell that the stock market had its worst three weeks. Year-to-date ETF flows were 90 billion, 90, compared to 55 billion last year. That's about double. The third week of these awful markets experienced a liquidity crunch, which was ignited by the emergency Fed cut. It hit fixed income ETFs, which traded as bad as 3%, even 8% discount to the NAVs. I'm talking about ETFs with billions of dollars in assets like TLT, the 20-year treasury. No headlines from any of the robo-advisors in this messy market, unlike the betterment Brexit glitch of 2016. However, the three Robin Hood blackouts left retail hanging dry. Stay tuned for ETF updates, which are the bread and butter of all the wealth sector.